What is up, everybody? It's your old pal Taint Peter here, and today we're going to do a playthrough in many parts, I'm sure, of a roughly 10 hour game called Robocop Rogue City. Now, um, why this game of all games? This is certainly not a AAA title. This is kind of a weird pick. Uh, I'll tell you why, because I heard it's good. I've read that it is surprisingly good for being sort of a smaller studio, um, weird license, right? Like who the fuck is thinking about RoboCop anymore? I think the movie's from like 1987 or 88. And uh, it's just a weird pull, right? But I've heard it's fun as shit. So <clears throat> if you're not familiar with RoboCop, maybe you're Gen Z or something, and this is just didn't grow up with these movies, um, I can tell you, um, as someone who did have RoboCop in his childhood, this guy was basically like, it was him in Terminator, right? In the 80s and 90s. It was like, these are the two machines that you had to be into. Like the Terminator's scary, right? RoboCop is kind of scary, I guess, if you're a bad guy, but mostly he's just cool. He's got like armor, he's angry, he's got a gun, and he's a robot cop. Like what else is there to know? Um, the backstory really quickly of RoboCop is he was a police officer, human, who was captured by a gang and in a very brutal scene in RoboCop 1, they like blow his body apart with shotguns, just literally like the most violent shit you've ever seen in your life. Just like shoot the fuck out of this guy, completely destroy him. And then for some reason, the police department decides to resurrect him as a robot. Uh, the catch is RoboCop does not remember his former self. And for some reason, it's kind of a secret people are keeping from him. So through the movie, RoboCop little by little starts to like get in touch with his former human side and remember who he was, which is a cop named Murphy. Murphy. Uh, so I don't know what the fuck the game's about. Honestly, I'm going in blind. I will say I, I have played for about an hour and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a playthrough video of this. So we're going to back it up to the beginning and um, we're going to just take it from the top. So that being said, this is Taint Peter. Let's play RoboCop Rogue City. Uh, so let's see, new main campaign. Yep, lose those old saves. I think we went on hard mode. For players who want to experiencing who want to experience a challenging combat, yes. I do. Does Robocop sound like somebody who wants an easy experience? He's not. Uh, let's watch the cutscenes. You give us three minutes and we give you the wool. Good evening. I'm Casey Wall. A military submarine that went missing over three years ago has suddenly reappeared in the Baltic Sea. Confused seamen mistakenly opened fire on the last... <laughs> Confused seamen. ...killing 12. Thankfully, our homesick sailors are back on U.S. soil. Welcome back, boys. In local news, a new crime wave that is sweeping Detroit has already claimed the lives <laughs> of 21 police officers. Here's a statement from the head of OCP. Omni Consumer Products that's funding and running the Detroit Police Department. Old Detroit has a cancer, and that cancer is crime. It must be cut out, and OCP holds the scalpel. According to our sources, the attacks were aimed at catching the attention of a man whose identity remains unknown. This dangerous new guy in town seems to have his eye on doing business in Old Detroit. Your fucking hands off me! Shut I'm sorry. Uh, there seems to be a uh, uh, disturbance? I'm a big fan. Now move! This guy looks like he's from the, um, Prodigy. Don't adjust your television sets. Your regularly scheduled program will be back shortly. Now this message goes out to the new guy in town. It seems that you're looking to spend some money in this great city of ours. I'm here to tell you that the torch heads are open for business. You may have heard of us as the number one supplier of nuke in old Detroit. The most potent addictive drug available in front of every convenience store, school, or library near you. But that's not all we're capable of. Let's get you up here. <laughs> We'll uh, get Officer Officer Howard to illustrate the point. You see, Officer Howard made a drug bust that cost us a lot of money. We want to reward this dutiful officer with a performance bonus. A 
lifetime supply of meat. Oh, man, you're going to have the time of your life. There you go. Enjoy. New guy, us tortures are more than capable of doing whatever you need done in our cities. So what is it, huh? Arson, smuggling, drug dealing, good old-fashioned murder. We do it all. You've got the money. We've got the power. So let's talk. Here we are in old Detroit. And here is Robocop in an old piece of shit car. Yes. Yes. Good to see you, Murphy. Lieutenant's at the main entrance to the TV station. Well, I guess what's happened is a gang has taken over a TV station, executed a police officer on the air, and now RoboCop has been called in to handle it. Oh, look at these nice reflections. Of course, I'm not in the reflection, but that doesn't matter. And what's cool about RoboCop in this game, besides the fact that he's obviously RoboCop, is the slow, deliberate movement. You feel like you're a tank, and look, you can see it sort of like shakes like you're walking with each step. Doom, doom, doom. You can't really run. You can walk a little bit faster. Like, this is as fast as I can go right here. What's up, guys? <clears throat> so you just feel like this slow, lumbering tank of a fucking person. Because you're Robocop. I mean, you're literally just a huge, hulking piece of metal. We'll say, look. Pretty cool little rendition of Detroit here. This guy's getting a ticket for being fat. Clean up your act, sir. So RoboCop, unlike Terminator, was kind of a comedy, which is weird. Like, it's a good action movie, but it's also, like, satirical and, like, tongue-in-cheek in a way, you know? Um, which kind of makes it, I don't know, makes it stand up today. If you go back and watch it, it's kind of, like, funny in a weird way that they don't really make movies anymore. <laughs> it's kind of like a big satire, I think, of, like... You know, capitalism, corporate America, greed. I think the reason RoboCop was turned into a cop, or a robot, rather, he already was a cop. I think the reason they turned him into a robot was because, like, a corporation owns the police department in Detroit in this fictional universe. So, like, even the police have been privatized, and they're, like, a technology company, and so they're like, oh, well, let's uh, try out a RoboCop because we own the cops and we can make a robot. There's a lot of weird mythology here, and you'll have to forgive me, I haven't seen this movie in so many fucking years. But this is what I remember. We can't wait any longer. Those trigger happy maniacs have a ton of hostages. But sir. Roger that. Over and out. What is the situation? Goddamn OCP tells us to stand down till SWAT arrives. That's our situation. Looks like we're on the way out. Not so fast, buddy. Who do you think is going to clean up this place? I'm not letting you off that easily. You sound just like my wife. If that's the case, let's get you patched up. We wouldn't want to get on the bad side. Press heal. Medic? <laughs> there you are, partner. Lois? The hell is going on up there? Dude, the police want us to release the hostages. So no hard feelings. I love like the um, <clears throat> 1980s uh, action movie aesthetic already. You know, like the villains are basically just like really cartoonish versions of punk rockers, which is weird. Like the gangs would all dress like they're in some punk band. It's it's very strange, but I guess like. Back then in the 80s, this is what crime felt like. It felt like kids with spiky hair. 
I mean, for nothing else, you could call it stylized. And the thing is that the RoboCop movies themselves were so over the top violent, like a lot of movies were in the 80s. Like the practical effects of violence were crazy squibs, blood everywhere, dismemberment. And this movie had all of that in spades. Hyper, hyper, hyper violent film. So um, hopefully the game will follow through on that. <clears throat> Uh oh. It's fight or flight time, buddy. What are you gonna do? Fight this robot or nope, you're fucking moron. This is not gonna work out for you. Robocop's pissed. Cool. Nice. And you can see he's got like the robo vision. There we go. Oh, here we go. The, the shooting feels really good in this game. I'll say that right now. I'd say like the whole experience is kind of like you're a lumbering tank. Oh, look at the destructible environment. Shit. You're like a lumbering tank of a person just rolling in and destroying everything in your path. And like the, the recoil of the guns feels good. The way that the, the noises are, everything's just like pretty dialed in, I have to say, which is something I, I had read about the game too. So I'm not really noticing that for the first time but it, it lives up to that rep let's see what's over here okay so the other thing i love about robocop that i remember super well from the movies is like he just has these really weird funny one-liners that are just perfect for a robot cop he's always like disarm citizen drop it like <laughs> you'll see he's probably, he's probably gonna say a lot of that shit drop the gun oh damn and there's dismemberment i think oh wait is that yeah, I think that guy lost an arm. I can't really tell. Let's see. Like, dismemberment's such a huge part of the movie that it would be amazing if they kept it in the game. Oh, you fucker. Holy shit, Robocop, bail. Oh my god, Robo heal, Robo heal. Wasn't paying attention to my health bar down there. All right, there we go. Nice, okay. Citizen. Cut the shit. You are disturbing the peace. Disarm. Disarm. Yes. Yeah, this feels good. And look at that. God, I fucking have always loved a destructible environment. There's not enough of that in video games. You know? Just the ability to just completely rip apart the whole map. Please, pacify yourself. This will not end well for you. <clears throat> yes, Robocop, fuck yeah. And I do feel that as time has gone on... What, what, you motherfucker. As time has gone on, I think that the world has sort of forgotten Robocop and only remembered the Terminator as, like, the killing machine of the 80s. But if you go back in time, like, I remember so vividly back then... Robocop was was a big deal, much like The Terminator was a big deal. They were just like different kinds of movies, you know? Like, we had room in our hearts for two robot killing machine humanoids that were like making us ask the question, what is it to be human? And like, what is an AI? Can computers ever become like a person? Yeah, believe it or not, we were thinking about that shit back in the late 80s too, everybody. We just, uh, this is kind of like what we came up with. <laughs> it wasn't nearly as real as it is now where we have like chat GPT. We're like, what if like a guy had a metal leg? Would he be like a, like a robot more, more robot than man? And what kind of humanity would he be left with? Would he have a soul? That's kind of what this is all about. I doubt you had time between all the heroics, but I got a key card from the janitor. It's good to do some real street work from time to time, you know? Little did we know that AI would actually just turn out to be the technology people used to cheat on their homework and make fake photographs of famous people licking each other's buttholes. Which in reality is like pretty much just as cool as RoboCop, I guess. It's just different. It turned out to go in a different direction. Not a robot police officer, a butthole licking realistic photograph generator. Which honestly, yeah, it's pretty cool. A stolen wallet. What does that give me? Crime evidence plus 25. I guess that's just like points. You take all. That graffiti is fresh. 
Hint program? H, okay. I already know how to heal myself. Got here, recovery charge, some nuke. I guess nuke is like the drugs that the gang is selling. Did you call me a metal freak? Disarm, citizen. Do not resist. That was cool. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm not a game designer. Or I don't know how to make any of this shit. I just know that whatever they did, it feels good. Like, it's almost hard to, to tell you. It just feels right. Something about the way you press down that shoot button and just feel the gun vibrate up your arm, or at least you think you do, because somehow they've created that sensation on screen and with the audio. It's nice, baby. It's crispy. Please do not resist. I will shoot you straight in the dickhead. Your balls are mush, sir. So it's interesting, it looks like I can't crouch as Robocop either, which is pretty cool. You really are kind of just like a tank. You're just like tanking through at a moderate pace, picking up guns and shooting. And in a way, it feels like an 80s arcade shooter. Like I remember there was this game. If I can find it, I'll put it on screen. It was called, I think, Operation Wolf. And it was like, you didn't have control over the, the movement of your person. You were just like kind of a shooting gallery game where like sprites of bad guys would jump out and you would just click to shoot them. Um, and boy, that was so fucking cool back then. Oh, I'm investigating. It kind of feels like that, except of course I can move Robocop around, but it feels like I'm walking through a shooting gallery and things are just jumping out. And I know that might not sound fun, but it is fun. It is super fun. Well, oh, damn. So my partner actually does some work. Citizen, disarm, disarm. And the hip fire like this, you know, I can zoom in or I can just hip fire and they both feel pretty good. Doof, doof, doof. Do not resist. You are under arrest. All of you are under arrest. Murphy. What is in this janitorial closet? Give it to me now. It is mine for the taking. I am a robot. And I will pilfer through all of your belongings. Oh, I guess it would be rifle through all of your belongings. But then if I took them, I would be pilfering them. Just a little grammar note there for everybody. A little writing note. Pilfering is to steal. Rifling would be what you do when you go through someone else's things. All right, you know what? I'm going to go back to my uh, standard pistol here, which is cool because if you look down in the lower right corner, you'll see this pistol has infinite ammo. And that is cool. Get down. Get down. Whoa, sh I think she just blasted that dude. No. The crime stops here. Oh, that guy's tough. Look at that. In a way, this is kind of fun because it teaches you to sort of like relearn your normal shooter behavior. Like I'm trying to crouch behind things and peek and hide and I can't do any of it. It's literally just forward, back, side to side without running. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Excuse me for having a little robot sneeze there. But yeah, I mean, like, again, you can kind of run. I mean, what would you call this? I guess it's like a fast walk. But in a way, it's kind of fun to sit down. It's kind of fun not to run. Let's change out my Uzi for this fucking cool assault rifle. You are going to sit on your fucking ass. Your cock has been destroyed. Hmm, I wonder where the game wants me to go. Hmm, do you guys see anything that could indicate that maybe the game wants me to do something? Gee, where could it be? Oh, maybe it's this big thing in a bright pink circle with a green dot on it. Let's restore the power.
Okay. Investigatable objects are marked with question mark. Hmm. Okay, so... Short circuit detected. I am detecting a short circuit. Oh, so close. To isolate the cables. I think I've got something just for that. Yeah, that's the other thing. So in the 80s, guys, bubblegum could pretty much fix anything. And if you don't believe me, just go watch the TV show MacGyver. If you were chewing gum, you could pretty much fix a car, perform open heart surgery, um, repel off of a building. Like, their gum could pretty much do it all. I don't know if it's because we all switched to sugar-free that that changed or what happened, but uh, gum is no longer the Swiss Army knife tool it used to be. And here's the guy from The Prodigy again. We could fire starter. Who's a fire starter? So, our friends in blue finally decided to join our glamorous show. I'm afraid you're too late for my autograph. Chopper's ready. I've got to go, but the party goes on. Guys, make sure you provide all our guests with a decent amount of amusement, so don't skimp on the nuke. See ya. Hmm. Oh, Robocop sees his former face. We need to be quick before they kill anyone else. I know that was messy. You saw something, didn't you? We are here to enforce the law, Lewis. Now stay focused. Right. Hmm. So does he remember himself or like what's this all about? I can't tell if this if this game is like before Robocop remembers who he was as a human. <laughs> Slime bags attacked it. Yeah, we're going to stuff that up your ass. It's just a shooting gallery. I just, I love it. They made a shooting gallery game. It's fucking fun as hell, too. Hold on, Lois. Let me check this equipment room and see if I can steal some shit for my robot body. <laughs> you can throw this. That's cool. Hmm. I love it. All right. <clears throat> What's this down here? Incriminating pictures. So I am gathering evidence. You know, I am still a cop. I'm not just here to kill. I'm here to collect evidence as well. And possibly take drugs. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at all this fucking papers flying everywhere. Things getting blown up. This is incredible. Grab that. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a great game. <laughs> I can already tell. Please obey. Sit, sit. The law is the law. There are no exceptions. Oh, look at this. This is Detroit. It is a shithole. Yet I must police it. Or it is my duty to please this booty. Get down, you piece of shit. So this is exactly as far as I've gotten in the game, by the way. No further than this. I was playing it on my Steam Deck, and this is where, because of all the destructible environments and the particle physics, my Steam Deck started to be like, uh, dude, can you stop playing this on me? What the fuck? I think this is for a PC. And I was like, okay, chill, Steam Deck. I get it. I get it. So now we're on the PC, which can more than handle all this crap. I'll say, like, this game is still really fun on Steam Deck. It's just, you could tell there's so much going on. You kind of want the full, you know, the most powerful thing to play it on that you can. That's my recommendation anyway. Nothing wrong with the Steam Deck. It's obviously an incredible device. But, uh, you know, some games are a little more demanding. What do you think? Should we stick with the Uzi or get the AK? Ah, the AK's fun. I kind of care if there's not a lot of ammo for it. I'm enjoying it. Here we go. Come on. Oh, I guess this is all I can carry. All right. 
So yeah, as of here, guys, this is all virgin territory. I have no idea where I'm going after this. Let's enter together, shall we? Sit down, cocksucker. You are not the chairman of the board. You do not belong here. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Murphy's in trouble. Heal yourself. Careful, partner. Burr, 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 burr. Nuke, nuke. Maybe I can throw a TV at the next guy, I see. Oh, shit. In a hostage situation, when you face criminals who have taken hostages, you have only a few seconds to eliminate the threat and protect the innocent. Okay. Well, I guess I better drop this then. Oh, boy. Did I do it, Dad? Cool. God you come. This lady really needs to hm. see a doctor. I've come. <laughs> Murphy, these people need help. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay with them. Right. This is Lewis. We have rescued three hostages. One with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. Requesting urgent medical assistance. Over. It's funny that they would just give Robocop a pistol. You know, like, he's this huge killing machine, and then they're like, all right, now take this 9mm Glock and go do the job. It feels so much more, like, appropriate when he has, you know, this, or maybe, I would say, just give him, like, a Gatling gun or something. Give him, like, a fucking chain gun like they have on those Blackhawk helicopters that kill everybody. That seems like what Robocop should have, but no, I guess he's just doing his work with the pistol. They're like, look, we had to cut corners somewhere. This is an expensive project to put you together, asshole. So, just be glad that you're made of metal and nobody can hurt you and take this pistol and do your work. Shut the fuck up. He's like, duty and honor... And apparently, a tight budget. I accept the mission. This must be the unused floor of the TV station. You could tell the developers here were planning to have a really fun fight where plywood is splintering and old concrete is being hit by bullets. I like it. And I'm totally down. What's up, asshole? Uh-oh. Do not use grenades on me. I do not appreciate it. Citizen, stand down. Oh, look at this. Look at this dismemberment. Holy shit. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm safe here. Holy fuck, dude. All right. These developers are cool. They totally understand what Robocop's about. Yeah, look at that. It's a severed. Oh, shit. Yeah, these, these people totally get it. Blowing people's limbs off is the point of RoboCop. It's, yes, on, on one surface level, it's about, you know, uh, a machine trying to understand its humanity and a dead person coming back to life and trying to grapple with, you know, am I still the person I was before I died or am I now purely a robot? That's all there, but really it's about blowing people's arms and legs off and then going, whoa, cool. So, I'm afraid of getting ambushed, but when these guys are dead, I do want to just take a, a moment together and go, whoa, cool. All right. I better pick up one of these micro-MGs here. Oh, you son of a bitch. Who's doing that? Citizen. Drop your weapon. Yeah, look at that. If you can't tell just by that moment alone how fucking awesome this game is, Just like drywall flying everywhere, plywood splintering, and one rogue cop checking out severed limbs. Citizen, be seated. The law is the law. I am the law. You know what? Did that come from this movie? I am the law? Who said that? Who said that fucking line? Oh, all right. So I can apparently pick up and throw those, which is cool.
I have to Google this afterwards. Maybe this will be like trivia that I can revisit in the second uh, episode of this. Who said I am the law? I don't think it's this movie, but it seems like it could be. Please do not make me have to enforce the law. Tinker, Tager, Taylor, <laughs> Soldier, Spy, Robocop. I think the, actually, I don't know why this reminds me of that, but I think that the, um, the like tagline on the movie poster for Robocop said, half man, half machine, all cop. <laughs> you gotta love it. It's true. I am a cop. So, you know, this is kind of like aside from the point, but you fucker. You know, like, in order to understand why Robocop was made and where the hell this came from, you have to, like, kind of remember or at least at the very least try to understand how bad crime was in the 80s and how fucking scared people were of everything around them punks inner city folk gangs like there was just so much fucking crime everywhere back then in every big city and so i think robocop is sort of just like some kind of a weird reaction to that i mean it's not the main point of the movie but you could just see like it was plausible in the 80s that the a TV station would be, be taken over by a roving gang of, like, punk rock dudes who would just kill people for no reason and snort a bunch of drugs. And, like, that all felt like a problem that maybe we could all be dealing with day to day. And then Robocop was just this kind of, like, weird fantasy of, like, well, wouldn't it be cool if we just designed, like, a bulletproof cop that could just go in and with a cheap gun and just kill everybody? And just, like, that was how we would sort out crime. It wasn't like it is today, where people are like, I wonder if the crime is just because of, like, you know, the public school system failing in these neighborhoods and, like, blah, blah, blah. Which, you know, like, maybe there's something to it. I actually don't know anything about it, all of that. But back then, people weren't, like, digging that deep into it. They're just like, everyone's a scumbag criminal that has a weird haircut, and I wish I was a bulletproof metal cop so I could blow them all away. And then this became a sort of cathartic fantasy for people to indulge in through films like this. And uh, now it's back, baby, in 2023, almost 2024, but it's back in a big way. And uh, we can all live the fantasy a little bit more realistically because I'm not just watching RoboCop destroy scum criminals. I am RoboCop, and I am destroying those criminals myself. Look at him. Just marching along like a mech battle bot. Doof, 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 doof. Oh, shit. Oh boy, Robocop's been trapped. Oh man, they shattered my visor. What the hell is that all about? Sure thing, Mom. What do we have? Mm. I'm hearing memories. But I am a machine. Is this going to be like a set of Robocop's house? Do nuke. Bad news. <laughs> yeah, this is what the gang wants to do. Just destroy stuff. Big King. Do nuke. Oh, got another hostage situation on our hand here. Obey the law. I think I saved them all.
Well, maybe there's one more that needs saving, guys. No sudden moves, cop! I'm not dying here! Get me another one of those choppers! Like the one that took soot! You hear me? You work so hard, honey. Why don't you take some leave? Oh, uh, Robocop's tripping out. Remembering his wife. I'm talking to you, Shiny. Stand back from that door, or I'll shoot her. I swear to nuke. I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you. You've got three seconds. Three. I'll say me the only thing I need to be happy. Two. Are you fucking deaf? Murphy. So guys, RoboCop's not perfect, you know, like, yes, is he a well-built piece of technology? Yes. Does he have great lips and an awesome chin that look great in that helmet? Of course. But he's not a perfect guy, you know, like he had a moment to himself there. I'm going to get a prostitute and snort crack. Wait, what am I saying? Snort crack, guys. I know, I know so well that you don't snort crack. You can snort meth. You can snort coke. But you have to smoke crack. You can also s smoke meth. I just, please, just I know, okay? I know that stuff. I'm not a square, all right? I know everything about drugs and all that. You know, I'm not a real RoboCop. I'm just pretending to be one right now. I hope you understand that. I found this little lumberjack chopping wood outside the elementary school. All right, buddy, that's enough. I can pay my bail now. Cash? No problem. Do you take ten bucks? Get back in line. They're here. Yeah, that guy's cool. He's not taking no shit from that hooker. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Soot ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine? Oh, for Christ's sake. Everybody's got a camera nowadays. <sighs> so it looks like RoboCop got caught not shooting a bad guy for once. What they didn't see was the 50 people I killed on my way up there, but whatever. Tip for parents, never trust any guy with your kids. Just saying. Go to female babysitter if you can. But and even then, got a point. background check. This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man once examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me, and you might just find out. You, follow me. This is very different from the modern day where people are giving police officers shit for shooting people. In Robocop's world, if you don't kill tons of people just willy-nilly with your gun, you will be in trouble. Just saying. It's a different, it's a different, uh, different universe RoboCop operates in. They're like, why didn't you shoot 61 bad guys? Why did you stop at 60? These people don't deserve a trial. They just need to be mowed down. What's going on in here, guys? 
Dr. Ramirez. What seems to be the problem? <sighs> My damn locker won't open. Can you try? Bitch, I'm a robot. I'm going to get this thing open so fucking fast. Wait, what is all this shit doing in my locker? I want you to be safe out there. Yeah, is, guys, very fine. Is Officer Ramirez being targeted for a joke? Not funny, guys. Put a shirt on, you nude freaky fuck. <clears throat> Is everyone's just fucking hanging out smoking? Man, if I knew this is what it was like to be a cop, I would have done that for a living. This is fucking cool. Actually, the communal showers are kind of fucking gross, but just hanging out, smoking cigarettes, playing with guns. I mean, this is kind of like, you know, this is pretty glamorous. I'm not going to lie. And this building reminds me of the public schools that I used to go to. So I'm already kind of like, you know, dialed in on that. What's going on down here? Want to talk to me, butthole? I see you're going to give me the silent treatment. Oh, look at this fucker. Man. You know what? Just because I'm made of metal, bro, doesn't mean I'm a freak. I'm a RoboCop. You know, like, I see, I see where the game wants me to go. I know, guys. It's trying to give me a place to go check out. I just, you know, I'm curious, like a little cat. I just want to look around. I can't help myself. I just want to sniff out what's up. In fact, let's check the time on this recording. How long has this episode been going on for? Oh, wow, 42 minutes. All right, well, let me get us to this checkpoint, and then we'll call it a day here as we look around RoboCop's police station lair. There's my favorite walking, talking law enforcement machine. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, all right, all right. This is going to get into some shit. All right, guys, this is uh, part one of the Taint Peter playthrough of RoboCop Rogue City. I'm going to pause it here because we're at like 40-something minutes, and I'll pick it up in part two. We will continue to subdue criminals. We will kill scum. We will make citizens obey the law. There is no one in Detroit who can hide from us. This is Murphy, a.k.a. Taint Peter, out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.